I don't really like just water. What else can I have? You know, you can flavor it up a little bit. But right now, for the point of this video, got to get those, you know, that half your body weight in ounces on a daily basis to facilitate your fat loss. Hi, welcome to the Judy Terrell Show, where I explore topics intended to optimize every body 50, 60, 70, and above. Hi, everybody, and welcome to your second 50. And you are joining me in this video. It is video number two in my six part series on tips for losing fat. Okay, I've done video number one. I encourage you to go back and get that information and then add this to that. And then of course the next six. But if you're tuning in now, let's get this one going. And if you've already listened to number one, you're gonna add this tip to the first one. Okay, so one of the main <clears throat> mistakes or barriers to fat loss that many of my clients um, are making is that they are not paying attention to their hydration levels, all right? We all know hydration is very important to health and well-being, but I don't know if everybody is, uh, knows and understands and recognizes how important it is for weight loss. So I'm gonna explain why it is, how it works in your body, and then hopefully that's gonna increase your motivation to actually pay attention, and then I'm gonna give you a criteria to follow to try and get your, your best hydration level that's gonna help you with your fat loss. Okay, so hydration. What, what was, hydration is the amount of water that's in your body, all right? And what does water do in our body? Many, many things. So our blood, you know, is a water base. So if you're dehydrated, your blood is thicker and more viscous, and it's gonna be harder to go through your arteries and veins, okay? Hydration, for my clients, I specialize in 50 plus, so men and women both, and skin and fine lines and wrinkles. If you are underhydrated, the, the skin is not as, as hydrated either and it's not as plumped and then all those wrinkles and fine lines they come out at a turbo level like you can see them way more when you're dehydrated than when you are like ma uh, maximally hydrated or um, most uh, for health you're you're most healthfully hydrated um, it's like when you dry out fruit like you dry out a grape it becomes you know a plum it becomes a prune all those wrinkles show up so hydration for your skin especially as you're you're aging you know, hydration is our lymph fluid, um, and that is a major, or, you know, it's not an organ, but it's a, a system of detoxification um, <clears throat> and maintenance for our body, for our well-being. We need that for our lymph fluid. Um, it is necessary for elimination and processing through our digestive system. Um, so many things is hydration good for, but what I want to highlight for you in this video is water, when you take it in, okay, comes into your body, gets absorbed through the, you know, through the digestive system into the bloodstream and is transported to all the cells of your body. Now, water is an H2O molecule. We all know this from, you know, high school uh, chemistry. But what water does is it enters into the cells, all right, and then it goes into the, the mitochondria, which is an organelle in the cells, which is known as our, our furnaces for our energy, that's where energy is burned, whether it be fat or sugar, that's where it happens in this, these organelles in our cells. And you're all seeing a lot of information about mitochondria and longevity and optimal health and well-being and energy and all that, and all that is true, but it's not the mitochondria, it's what's going on in the mitochondria. Now you have to have enough of them and longevity research is showing how to get you know, more of those and how to help repair the ones that are you know, uh, breaking down from just living your everyday life but I'm focusing in on water in the mitochondria and how it's affecting our fat burning and our weight management. So water enters into that mito those mitochondria and it breaks apart into oxygen and hydrogen. And again, from our high school chemistry, it, they, enter, they facilitate what's known as the Krebs cycle. And the Krebs cycle is the energetic pathway that takes either fat, or sugar in the form of glucose and breaks those down and breaks their bonds and creates energy and energy for work and for you know our lives and respirating and our heart beating and um, you know playing soccer and you know going for a walk and all those things so water breaks apart and becomes the mechanism for that energy burn okay now if your second 50 dot life is my virtual platform that is designed for both men and women over 50 and 60, 70, and 80, 
and it includes pre-recorded video information on exercise and how to do it whether you are fit and in good health or if you have bad knees, bad shoulders, a bad back, whatever. It includes information on how to eat for weight management and how to eat for health management. It includes information on the psychology of aging and what do we need to do in our heads because let's face it, this aging thing is not for the faint of heart. So your second50.life is a virtual platform of resources that you can access at your own leisure, but it also includes two times a month live video coaching with me so that you can bring your own individual questions and get individual coaching as well as have access to all the information on the pre-recorded videos. So please check it out because we're all in this together and we got this. If you don't have enough water molecules in your body and you're underhydrated, and by the way, the science is showing that, especially in the United States of America where I am, the average person, the chronic dehydration levels are epidemic. And I have a machine that measures hydration levels and body composition, and I can tell you from my 42 years in practice and the last 12 years of using this machine that my data shows that that is true. Most of the, many of the clients I work with are under 45% hydration for females and under 50% hydration for males, and both of those are chronic de dehydration. Now, they'll say to me, I don't feel that, and they, they, they don't, but it's going to come out sideways through a health issue or like fatigue, um, difficulty losing weight, ways that you would never equate with the hydration but are directly related because of what I'm explaining, okay? So if you don't have the water to facilitate that, you know, energy um, release in your mitochondria, then you're, you're not going to be able, you're going to, you'll be able to lose weight and lose fat, which is the goal. And that's what I'm addressing in this video, but it's kind of like driving your car with like one half quart of oil in it. The car may drive, but it's going to drive really badly. Okay. And not for very long, unless you get some more oil in it, it's going to have, you're going to have mechanical breakdown. So biologically, we won't break down like that, but like we do have these chronic stressors then from not having enough hydration. And again, to the point of this video, it's going to block your fat loss because it just doesn't have the, the, the mechanism. Is it not in place for it to be burned? Okay. So are you getting what I'm saying here? Like we need that hydration level to be up to optimal and not in a dehydrated state in order for you to be able to burn the optimal amount of energy by living your everyday life. And that is going to, you know, foster and enhance your weight and your fat loss goals. So if you are underhydrated, you are like, you're going to struggle to lose fat. Okay. So now the point is you got to get yourself to a hydration level that's not underhydrated. All right. And you know, there isn't like an exact number, kind of like blood pressure and heart rate and, you know, things like in our body temperature that are, you know, levels that are true for everybody. So when it comes to hydration, there isn't a formula for how much should somebody drink that's going to get you to, you know, above those like too low hydration levels. Um, but there are a couple rule of thumbs out there and I'm going to give you those. All right. So the number one rule of thumb is half your body weight in ounces of water per day is what you want to take in. So if, um, you know, a female is weighing 160 pounds, then we want to take about 80 ounces of water or liquid because it doesn't have to be just plain water. That might be your best choice, but anything liquid is going to count towards your hydration. Now, if it has calories in it, then it's not, it's going to count also towards your calorie deficit. Go back to my episode one in this series about that. Um, so I'm going to promote drinking l no calorie seltzers, unsweetened iced tea, water, you know, infuse your water, you know, squeeze a lemon in it, put some mint and cucumbers in it, um, different methods for getting some flavor in there. There are some flavor, water flavor enhancers that are good that are, you know, uh, colored by beet juice, not uh, red dye 40, um, and don't have ingredients that are bad that could also help you to drink more water because I get this question all the time from clients. Well, I don't really like just water. What else can I have? You know, you can flavor it up a little bit, but right now for the point of this video, you've got to get those, you know, that half your body weight in ounces on a daily basis to facilitate your fat loss. 
And I have a lot of really good clients that are eating really healthy food and they're staying away from processed foods and they're trying to manage at a calorie deficit that's appropriate for them. And yet they're not losing, they're not seeing the weight loss that they want. Then I'm going to like next strike is okay. Let's look at your hydration and are you drinking the minimum amount? And of course, drinking more is going to be good, but of course, like everything more and more and more, there's a high point where drinking too much is not good either. But most of my clients are struggling with getting that base level. So let's focus in on the tip for this, this video. The, the summary conclusion is half your body weight in ounces in water or a non-caloric beverage on a daily basis. Take that on for a month, doing everything else that you know to do to lose weight. And, and if you've been stalled um, or not seeing the, the loss on the scale, let's see if this doesn't help to you know restart that uh, weight loss um, on the scale again. Okay, everybody, this is my second tip. It's the one of the most common ones I see in my practice. Um, and now there's four more. So do this one, start to institute this one. And then, you know, I'm encouraging people to take them one at a time, take a week. I'm doing this on a weekly drip. Or if you're watching these after they've been put out then take on the first one and do that for a week and then take on the second one and do that for a week until you get to the six of them. And, and mark my words, you're going to see that scale going back down. Okay, everybody. See you on the next video. And if you would like to have access to some of my additional resources, I can be found at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on my website, www.judyterrell.com.